Hey there, it's Colton with the Maya Learning Channel. Today I'd like to show you a new Boolean mode in Maya 2026 called Volume. Volume, as a geometry combiner, is helpful in a lot of workflows, but especially when creating organic objects, such as blocking in characters or creatures. Let's explore the Volume mode together. So I've been working on my T-Rex model lately. I've blocked in some very basic shapes. I'm happy with them. And now I'm ready to combine the geometry and continue sculpting. To do this, I'm first going to hide the geometry I don't want combined. This includes the claws. I'm going to select all geometry in the viewport. Note the scale of the T-Rex on the grid. It's quite large. This will help with adjusting the voxel size. More on this later. I'm going to go Mesh Booleans, and for this operation, I'm going to use Union. However, the volume mode is also accessible through the difference and intersection operations as well. Let's select the option box. Under geometry mode, that's where you'll find volume. I'm going to leave the other options for now because we can always adjust them later if needed. And now our geometry has been combined into one new mesh. Pretty cool, right? In the Boolean node, Boolean settings of the attribute editor, we can adjust the parameters from earlier. The size of your model plays an important role too, because when you calculate the voxels at a larger scale, you avoid having them be really small. Essentially, your Boolean meshes are converted in memory into a new grid of data, based on the size of the voxel count, and then returned to you. They are then remeshed into a new output, which is what you see here. With that in mind, notice the voxel size is quite dense right now. This will capture more detail. If we increase it, we'll get less detail. For this model, I don't need precision at this stage, so let's increase the voxel size. Much better. Before we get into retopology, any changes you make to the original model will also be reflected on the new one as well. This is a very nice, non-destructive way of working. Now it's time for retopology. Let's hide our original T-Rex and only work with the new volumed one. For this demonstration, I'm going to retopologize first, then continue sculpting. But you can definitely sculpt on the voxelized mesh, then retopologize too. We'll select our volumed mesh, go mesh retopologize, and the option box. Let's say I want the face count to be around 10,000. Since we aren't using a very dense mesh, we can skip pre-processing, as it won't provide us any real benefits. And there we have it. Now I can go into the sculpting shelf, select the smooth brush, turn on symmetry, and continue working on my T-Rex. All in a matter of minutes. I hope this feature helps you just as much as it helped me. Take care.